Hey folks, Dan Freer here, The Raid Update. Today is Tuesday, January 12th, 2021. Uh, market updates. We're going to go through stocks, bonds, cryptocurrency, just a, uh, just a few things to, to bring you up to date on what's going on in the markets today, what to expect in the next couple of days. So we see a the, the stock market continues to rally. Um, I follow several different stock analysts and everybody, everybody is basically saying the market is overpriced or overbought. Uh, stocks are too high. So please be careful. If you know how to work stop losses and other different variations on how to protect your assets, that's a good way to do that. Uh, maybe I'll post a video about that, how you can go in there and set up your stocks to, if they hit a certain level, they, they sell for you automatically. It's a good thing possibly to do. Um, in the MBS market, we are getting tanked again. Look at this reversal. This is, I, there's really no reason for this um, other than the government stimulus coming in. Stocks are overpriced. There's huge uncertainties in the market. Uh, the, the Washington is a, is a cluster, you know what. Um, the, the, the economy shut down. There's no reason for the stock market to continue other than the Fed pumping in or the government stimulus pumping in tons of money into the economy and um, you know, just people pushing it into the markets and, and, and other areas. Um, but this week we're gonna see earnings. Earnings are coming in kind of hit or miss. Many companies are doing well, many companies are doing terribly. But again, when you have a market, if, if you said to me, Dan, here's what's gonna happen, or here's the scenario, the backdrop. Half of the country is gonna be shut down. Washington's in turmoil. The, the uh, presidency is the president's, they're, they're trying to impeach the president. Um, all this stuff, I'd be like, Bond mark, the bond market's gonna do really well because on times of uncertainty, people push their monies into bonds. It's called a safe haven is what they call it. The stock market's doing well. The bond market is, you know, prices are, going, are dropping and dropping and dropping, shooting up, up yields. It should be the other way around. Um, you know, I watched Jim Cramer last night on Fast Money and he was just like, I don't get it. Um, I don't get it as well. So whatever, please be careful with stocks. I'm not a stock advisor. I'm not an analyst. I'm a mortgage guy. I'm just giving you my opinions as to what's happening with the market, where I'm putting my money. Um, and that's what I, that's why I'm trying to just give you a brief update of what's going on in the markets for the day. At the end of the day, I give you my rate update today on Tuesdays. I compare my rates to several different lenders throughout the country. So if there's a product or a company you want me to com you know, show my rates against, please shoot me an email or keep me put a comment down below on who you want me to, to kind of go against. Um, some of the areas that, that are, are, we're watching as well is the cryptocurrency. Um, such as Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum. These are two holdings that I have. And you can see there was a crash yesterday. There was 200, I think, billion in, in Bitcoin value that was, that was dropped. Um, I'm sorry, in the whole the, uh, uh, cryptocurrency uh, sphere. But um, we're recovering well, and look, it's still, even after the bloodbath yesterday, we have a seven-day return of 7%, 2%, and then there, there's others. Look at XRP. That's a really speculative one. But the best way to follow this is the, the cryptocurrency. It's basically an offshoot of what's happening with the dollar. So as the dollar rallies, um, Bitcoin value deteriorates. As the, 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 the dollar deteriorates, Bitcoin values do well. We saw a spike up in the last couple days in regards to the dollar. Today it is easing up. So we're, we're seeing a, as this eases, the cryptocurrencies increase. And you can see there's green across the board. So that's what we got right there. The stock market again is, is doing, let's see where we're at right now. The Dow is up 11, or I'm sorry, 21. I'll take it. Uh, earnings are coming in again. It's it's hit or miss. 
What I would focus on, I'll give you, I'm going to give some uh, kind of ideas on what to look at. Uh, healthcare stocks, I think, are going to do very well with this administration, as well as cannabis stocks. Believe it or not, the Democrats are in favor of marijuana legalization. Not saying it's good or bad, but watch some cannabis stocks, and I'll give you some ideas there tomorrow. But uh, one area that you might want to look at is the healthcare sector. There's a spider, so it's like a mutual fund or a group of fu- group of uh, healthcare stocks, and that stock is or that uh, that symbol is XLV. So watch that as well. Uh, the cryptocurrencies, like I said, watch the dollar, and you can kind of peg that against what's going on with the cryptocurrencies. But mortgage rates are spiking again. Um, I'll show you this little graph right here, and it continues to deteriorate throughout the day. And I'll give you the intraday chart, and we are just, it's a bloodbath today. Um, you know, we opened up good, a little bit better, and then just crashed. Um, again, when you have the impeachment going on, stocks uncertainty, the world uncertainty, unemployment terrible. Um, you would normally see people moving money into bonds, thus pushing up the price, not down the price, and kind of going from there. So to recap, earnings season is upon us. Friday, we have earnings from the big banks. Um, That is going to be a telltale of what's going on there. I'm not recommending banks right now. I'm recommending healthcare and cannabis stocks. MBS market is getting clobbered. Cryptocurrency is doing well. The best way to watch that is what's going on with the dollar as the dollar deteriorates. Uh, Bitcoin and alt prices, altcoin prices go up. But the market right now is doing well. Again, go figure. We have the Dow up 37, the NASDAQ 34, Russell 2000 up 25, S&P 500 up 6. In the bond market, we have... MBS is down 31, the Treasury's up four, and again, um, there's turmoil in Washington that would normally kill stocks and benefit bonds, but it's completely different. And I am thoroughly confused, so be careful out there, folks. And please leave comments down below. Let me know if there are certain stocks or sectors you wanna talk about. Would you wanna find out about the mortgage rates Again, guys, we're in unprecedented times. Everybody's at a loss. So if anybody's telling you, here's exactly what's going to happen, that game plan gets thrown out the window every day. So that's it for today. I won't bore you anymore. Hopefully you find this information informative. Let me know of how you want me to structure this segment of the show. Is there sectors you want to talk about? But bonds are doing bad. Stocks are doing good. Should be a reversal of that. Cryptocurrency is doing good. Watch the dollar when it comes to cryptocurrency. God bless. I'll be back later this afternoon. See you then. Bye-bye.